All right, now Cherry is quite excited. <laughs> you chuckle. Looks like I'm gonna get a little something for Kalilia Lulu's worthless farmland after all. Larry, you're so wonderful. You're giving me what I've always wanted. I think you know what I've always wanted. Cherry smiles at you in the darkness. At last, I'll be able to remove this costume never to wear it again. Sounds good to me. Oh. Hello. What are you, modest? Hurry up, Larry. Second show's about to start. You carefully consider her offer, but not for long. Oh, Larry, don't you just love the real estate business? Yes, I do. Almost as much as I love sh fucking in the shadows. Oh, Larry, I could go like this all night. Too bad I can't. You're the only one. Who turned out the light? Oh, wait, who turned out the light? Fuck. The drum roll. Oh, no, quick, Larry, get dressed. Second show started. You both scramble to find, sort, and wear whatever articles of clothing you can. Jesus, Ark. I can't tell what's what. The public address system booms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to None Tonight for You, our spectacular tribute to the thing we all love most. Where's my pants? The announcer's voice booms over the public address system. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart! Son of a bitch! You scream. People, hundreds of people, and every one of them staring at me. You're caught, Larry, and red-handed, too, and wearing Cherry's costume. In a hurry, then the dress darkness backstage, you must have grabbed the wrong clothes. So that's why your underwear was such a tight fit. Our star, Cherry Tart! Cherry, I don't fucking care. You said it a thousand times. Get your dumb ass out there. Summoning up all your courage, you begin to wiggle your way down the runway. The audience must also appreciate your talents as they begin to throw dollar bills at you. Look, Larry, they're all throwing money at you. They like you. They really like you. Too bad I don't. Do it, do it, Larry Leffer. Dance your fucking ass off, kid. Time passes. Time in which you dance and dance, meanwhile picking up many, many $1 bills. You dance until your legs just can't take it any longer. Which isn't really that long considering you are wearing a pair of high heels three sizes too small. The mate of the D Wise Christ. You seem to have been a big hit with the audience. Five hundred one dollar bills ain't bad for your first night. You think, just imagine, I got to have all that fun and make money too. Why, that was even better than being a programmer for Sierra Online. Much better, considering they no longer exist. Losers. Look at the cute little peacock looking Larry. Oh, 
Alright, now it's time to go pay off the uh, lawyer fee. Back, Roger. You greet the clerk. Nice to see you, Mr. Lapper. Did you bring five hundred dollars with you? Here's the five hundred, Mr. Chief. Mr. Chief requested. May I please meet with her to finalize my divorce now? Well, certainly, Mr. Lapper. Walk right in. Miss Chief will be happy to talk with you now. Better. Oh, by the way, nice outfit. <laughs> Clear bait. I'm back, Miss Cheatham, you say, and I'd like my divorce papers. Susie's eyes widen as she spies her new outfit. Oh, Larry, I had no idea you enjoyed cross dressing, too. What does she mean, too? Nothing turns me on like wearing men's underwear. You are stunned. You had no idea. Dazed, you head for the sofa. Yes! Yes! Do sit down, Mr. Laffer. Please make yourself comfortable. You won't mind if I call you Larry, would you? Nah, Larry's fine, I suppose. Confidentiality, Larry. I hate for anyone to violate the privacy of my attorney client relationship. Would you mind? Would you mind if I slip out of this hat? Feel free to slip out of whatever you wish, Susie replies. You carefully remove the gigantic feathered hat from your head and place it at your feet. You may have come here expecting a divorce, but it looks like you're going to get a lot more legalists. And now it's time for me to get comfortable too! So, how do you like my women and men's undergarments? You apply. Actually, I think I love you in mine. Enough of the not for the legalistic full play, Larry. What do you say we spend the rest of the afternoon going through your briefs? What the fuck? Hey, Susie, what the fuck is that? Excuse me for just a moment. I have a telephone call. May I put you on hold? What bitch what are you talking about? Now where were we? You think to yourself, I've had lawyers do this to me before, but this is the first time. What the fuck? Oh no, I suppose I could have Roger hold my house. Yeah, it'd be nice if someone got to hold something around here. Now where were we? Nice if something started slipping around here. They're all done. Devil! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Not again, I'm so busy. Blah 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 blah. You got about all this you can take. Alright, fuck this. I'm done with this bitch. Son of a bitch! If you're this busy, I'll just come back later. Susie covers the phone with her hand and whispers to you. Sure, okay. Good idea. Call me anytime. Blah, 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 blah.
You lean your way out of the grass, you grab your tall feathered hat from the floor. The problem is Susie's docket is just too full. Poor Larry.